Hey guys, Adam here with AmericanMuscle.com, and today we're taking a closer look at and of course installing the SR Performance Short Throw Shifter for the TR3650 transmission in 01 Cobras, late 01 to 04 GTs, and 03 to 04 Mach 1s, like the one we're sitting in right now. You should be checking this out for your five speed if you're looking to replace the factory sloppy miss shift causing shifter with one that is shorter to reduce throw times to get a firmer, more precise shift, eliminating miss shifting, and honestly get a better driving experience for your Mustang. Now this guy here from SR Performance is a lightweight billet aluminum with a separated shifter handle here to reduce any of that NVH. It's also got two self-centering springs in the shifter base to make sure that it's guiding you back into position in neutral and back into each gear every time. This is really gonna help transform your driving experience because we all know going from second to third, fourth to fifth and back, can cause some miss shifting, and the factory shifter is so long, it has so much travel time between gears. Yes, our performance one here is gonna eliminate all of those issues. This guy is one of the most affordable options in the category as well when it comes to a short throw shifter, coming in right around 165 bucks. Having such a reduction in shift times between gears can make such a difference on the drag strip as well. And as you guys know, every 10th of a second counts, so if you're looking to crack down on some ET times, this is a great way to reduce those shift times. Now this guy here is an extremely simple install for the TR3650s. It is worth mentioning here that this does not fit the T45 equipped early 01 to 04 GTs. This guy here is just for the late models that have the TR3650. Now it's also worth mentioning the shifter here does have the factory shifter thread pitch, so it fits all factory shift knobs and aftermarket knobs that would otherwise fit on your factory shifter. So if you have a Hurst shifter, if you have a Hurst shift knob, those are a little bit different of a thread pitch won't work on the SR Performance option here. Install is gonna get one out of three wrenches on our difficulty meter, believe it or not. Working in these SN95 and New Edge Mustangs, the transmission here is super easy to swap the shifter out of. It's about eight bolts to start to finish. And you're only removing this little trim piece here around the shifter. Super simple, and you can transfer over your factory shifter boot very easily as well. I'll take you through the entire process. It'll take you maybe an hour max start to finish. What do you say we get started? All right, tools used in this install include a quarter inch ratchet, a small extension, eight and 13 millimeter deep sockets, 13 millimeter wrench, six millimeter Allen key, flathead screwdriver, and recommended would be blue Loctite. And I'm using gray RTV or black RTV for our gasket, but you can also purchase one separately. All right, first step here, we of course wanna get our shift knob out of the way. Now for that, you're just gonna lefty loosey, get this guy completely off. And I'm gonna set it here in our cup holder. The next step, we're gonna focus on the entire trim panel surrounding your shifter boot. Now this guy is relatively loose from the factory. You just wanna pry up on one of the ends and it snaps out of place. Now, if you're having trouble with this, a panel removal tool can go a long way. Now, I don't recommend something like a flathead screwdriver because you don't wanna scratch or damage any of the trim around here. So that pops off. So here we have our cigarette lighter. That's we're gonna set in our cup holder as well. All right, just like that. The boot does come with it. So this, we're gonna slide up off of the shifter. Now underneath, we wanna unplug the cigarette lighter, and that's just gonna be a pinch and disconnect. Just like that. All right, so now we can set this aside. Next up here, we're gonna remove the four eight millimeter bolts holding on that bottom plate. Now for these bottom two lower guys, I'm gonna push the shifter up into third to give myself a little bit more room. All right, now these bolts, you wanna make sure you're not dropping them down. They might go under the car if you do, but I'm gonna keep them in the cup holder for safekeeping. For the top, I'm gonna to pull it down in the fourth. All right, and the last one's at the top right. All right, from there we can go in and lift up on that plate. Now, oftentimes, depending on the condition of your vehicle and if this has been messed with before, the plate is actually stapled to the boot underneath of it, so you kind of need to pull them up together. There we go. Tight squeeze, but we can get it. 
So now you can set this aside. All right, so next we're gonna take the entire shifter assembly off and that's with four 13 millimeter bolts holding it to the TR3650. So grab your 13 socket and again, I'm using an, ext an extension here. Throw that guy in third and we can get these four off. And bring her back down in the fourth and get the other two off. Right, these are pretty crusty, so it might be a little difficult to get some of them off. A lot of them have like cut quite a bit of grease on them. All right, with those four out of the way, can start to break this free. There it goes. You know, this is a pretty high mileage vehicle, so it can be pretty stuck on there. You also wanna be careful of any trans fluid that's at the bottom of the shifter base. I'm gonna let that drip, and I'm gonna grab a rag to pull this guy out so we don't get it inside the car. We have our factory shifter off of our TR3650 from our Mach 1 behind me, and it's on the table next to our SR Performance Short Throw Shifter for the TR3650. So let's take a look at some similarities and differences between the two. The first thing and the most notable difference just looking at them right on the table here is the size and height. Now the factory shifter comes in from base to top at just about 10 and a half inches tall. Your new SR Performance Shifter comes in at about eight inches tall. So it's a big two and a half inch difference just in height of the shifter handles. That is shifter base to top, but it is worth noting that is a sizable difference. You'll also notice that your factory shifter comes out at a curve and it has that long arm that is more angled toward the driver. Now, right out of the box, the SR Performance Short Throw Shifter is pretty straight up, but they do have these two Allen head adjuster bolts that allow you to angle it to more of a personal preference type of feel inside the vehicle. So if you want it angled a little bit toward you, you can definitely do that with those two adjustable bolts. The SR Performance Shifter also has two adjustable stopping bolts. Now those are right at third and fourth gear to help prevent overextension and it really clicks the shifter back into place for third and fourth. So those two bolts are there. They are adjustable to give you a little bit more throw forward and backward, but personally I like to leave them as is right out of the box in more of that neutral position. Now this shifter here is also going to completely reduce the shifting experience as far as the distance that you're throwing into each gear. And that's obviously pretty straightforward being a short throw shifter. Now while I don't have the exact percentage of throw reduction it is quite noticeable and does completely change the driving experience. They have two self-centering springs inside of the SR Performance Shifter base to help guide it back into neutral from each gear, but also to make sure you're getting a precise shift every single time. A big thing with the factory shifter is a very loose linkage and loose spring inside the shifter base, connecting it to the transmission. That sloppy shifter feel will also result in miss shifting, specifically from second to third and from fifth to fourth and vice versa. Going from the left gate to the center or the right gate to the center or back can result in missing and hitting that wall in between. Not gonna be the case here with the SR Performance Shifter due to those self-centering springs. Now, aside from that, this is also made from a high quality billet aluminum, a little bit different than the steel construction you'd get from your factory shifter. This guy's a little bit lighter weight. It's also very thick. It also feels a lot sturdier than the factory loose shifter. Now what we can do is set the factory shifter aside. We're gonna head right into the vehicle. The first thing we do before we install this guy is to scrape off any residue left over from the factory gasket. Now our Mach 1 behind me has some pretty high miles on it, so there really isn't any gasket existent at this point. There's just the residue left over. We're gonna scrape that guy off and we're gonna apply new RTV gray silicone or black if that's what you have. Now you can also pick up a specific gasket for this transmission separately, not included in the kit, or you can use the RTV method that we're using. It's all personal preference. So what do you say we head back into the vehicle and get finished up? All right, there is one thing we have to transfer over from the factory shifter, and it's this little adapter grommet at the bottom of the shifter ball that connects to the transmission. Now this guy is sort of a ball and socket type of assembly. I'm gonna use a flathead screwdriver to just pop this guy off of that ball. All right, so now we can take this guy and I'm gonna set it on the ball joint, and this guy is super tight. So what I'm gonna do is place it down on the table and just push straight down on our shifter base. Now you make sure you're not going at an angle because it will slip, go straight down. You'll hear that loud click and now it's on.
All right, so now looking at our trans, what we wanna do is take off all the excess residue from the previous gasket. Now, what I'm gonna do is stick my hand in here and just pull up any that's easy to take off by hand. So like this rubberized little bits. Toss that out. All right, so once you get the big clumps by hand, I'm gonna take a razor blade and go along the edge here to just clean up the little bit that's on the edges. And you can see how much that, that takes off so much of it using such a sharp razor blade. All right, so we scraped the majority of the gunk off of the surface there. Now we need to apply our RTV silicone gasket seal. Now I'm gonna use RTV gray, you can use black as well, or you can again purchase a new gasket. So now what we're gonna do is just apply about a quarter inch bead all down the side here. All right, so we applied our silicone gasket here and you wanna make sure you're giving it a generous amount. You wanna make sure you're getting all the way around the entire bolt hole where the threaded holes are, not just one side of the cornering. So just make sure you get all around the entire base and now we can apply our shifter. Now you wanna make sure that little cup that we put on the ball and socket here is going inside of the hole where the trans fluid is in the transmission. And with that, we're lining up our bolt holes. Now there are four new 13 millimeter bolts that you're gonna use instead of the factory ones to hold the shifter to the transmission. Now what I'm gonna do is put a small dab of blue Loctite on the bolt before putting it on. Right, that way we get a nice hold in the trans. Right, so I got the blue Loctite, I'm just gonna thread this guy in by hand through the first hole. All right. Now before I tighten that one down, I'm gonna do the same thing for all the other ones. All right, so now we can grab our ratchet and our 13 socket and tighten these guys down. At this point, this is a good time to set our stops, these stop bolts. Now, right out of the box, they're in a pretty good position, but once you have this installed on the transmission, you may need to make some small adjustments. When you shift into third and fourth, this shifter handle or base should have a very small gap between the base and the top of the bolt head. You want that little bit of gap for the extra extension, and that'll stop any extra force going past the gear. Now, going up into third, we have a pretty big gap, so that's really where we want to make the adjustment. This guy is pretty good, but we do need to adjust the top bolt. So what I'm going to do is just loosen up the back nut, and I'm going to bring our bolt head forward. You can typically do it by hand, just loosening the bolt here. And put the shifter forward, just a little bit more to go. All right, that's a pretty good stopping point right there. So once you have that figured out, you're gonna tighten down the nut from the back as much as you can by hand, and then grab a wrench and finish that off. All right, same thing for the bottom. Now, like I said, that bottom one's pretty good. We just wanna make sure the nut's fully tightened. All right, so our next step here is to put our shifter plate and that rubber boot back on. Now, this can be pretty tight, so you wanna be careful with way, the way that you do this. I'm gonna put this in fifth gear just to push it out from the driver's side a little bit more. I'm gonna open this guy up, 
And you're gonna carefully feed this back down. Now as far as how deep this is gonna go down, you're basically going to underneath of the two hex screws, the adjustment screws on the side of the shifter. And from there, you can get this guy back into position. All right, from there, the plate sits flush up against the trans, the transmission tunnel at least, and you're gonna grab the factory eight millimeter bolts and put them back through. At this point, you're just gonna shift this into gears, making sure that this rubber isn't prohibiting a smooth shift. If it is, you may need to adjust how this sits at the base. Ours is looking pretty good, so we're gonna move forward. All right, grab your eight millimeter socket and tighten all four down. All right, next is a pretty good idea at this point to make sure that the hex screws are tight on the side of your adjuster base. Of course, you can make adjustments if need be. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw this guy in fifth, grab a six millimeter Allen key, and I'm just gonna make sure that these guys are tight. There you go, perfect. Now we can move on to the boot and the bezel. Now for this, you wanna make sure you're reconnecting the cigarette lighter before applying it. From here, you wanna make sure the boot gets fed onto the threaded shifter handle and click that guy back in place. Now you'll also wanna make sure that you're putting the actual cigarette lighter back in position. And from there, you can take your shift knob and screw it back on. Just wanna make sure the pattern's straight. And at that point, you're finished and you're good to go. Well guys, that's gonna wrap up my review and install for the SR Performance short throw shifter fitting the TR3650 five-speed transmission in all 01 Cobras, late 01 to 04 GTs, and 03 to 04 Mach 1s. Pick up the SR Performance short throw shifter exclusively right here at AmericanMuscle.com.